It was the perfect day for snowmobiling, but one wrong turn quickly changed everything. Two young Kelowna men had to fight for their lives after a snowmobiling trip turned into a scary situation at Boulder Mountain on Saturday. Decided to rent some snowmobiles. Well, we rented avalanche packs as well. Uh, we were running out of gas at about 1 o'clock. We were making our way down when we took a trail into some really gnarly stuff, a uh, really cliff area. And so we turned the sleds around and we tried to tried to get out of that area. And uh, we ended up in this gully with, uh, with a river in it. And we couldn't ride the sleds out of the gully. We just kept getting the sleds stuck in the river over and over again. It was starting to get dark and more snow was falling when Andrew and TJ decided to build themselves a shelter in a tree well. And we realized to ourselves that we weren't going to make it out that night. We were just soaking wet, so we were freezing cold. We set alarms for every 15 minutes um, so we wouldn't fall asleep and get hypothermia. I could, I could feel the ice, my toes like cracking the ice. On Sunday morning, the two tried to dig out the sleds, but their hands were frozen. They then decided to walk and try to find a trail. And we just went from 8 a.m. We just walked and walked and walked and walked till about 2 o'clock in my like, waist deep powder, trying to find a, a trail or trying to find a snowmobiles. We were just so exhausted. We couldn't, couldn't walk anymore. So found this tree and it really wasn't looking good. And um, we really thought we were going to like die. We tried to be positive through, throughout the most of it and talk to each other and just say they're coming, they're coming, it's okay. We can keep going. But you lose a lot of hope when you have nothing and you're out there and you don't know where you are. You're cold, tired, hungry. And then we just started yelling and screaming and uh, setting off uh, like two flares um, when the helicopter seemed close. And finally, they, we heard snowbills come close and we heard somebody scream out, hey. And uh, it was just like the, the best moment of my life. It went from <laughs> hell to heaven within like two seconds. Andrew and TJ said they can't thank the rescue crews enough for what they did and are actually putting together a gift for them. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net. <laughs>